Now, this is your last chance. I've been more than reasonable. Fetch it a mush. Quoi? Fetch it a mush. If you do not agree to my commands, then I shall... What's going on everyone? As things start to heat up in 2024 with technology, robot delivery is on the rise. Now Uber is partnering with Starship and is launching 2,000 robots in multiple markets across the United States. And economists are expecting robot delivery industry to reach $665 billion by 2030. This by itself represents a third of the package delivery industry. However, these robots do occasionally create some concern. During a crime scene outside of Los Angeles Hollywood High School, a robot was seen going under the caution tape and venturing into the crime scene. Fortunately, there was not any evidence to tamper with, but this really begs the question, should these robots be rolled out to the masses when they make these kinds of mistakes? Well, that's what we're going to look at today. Back in 2014, when I was graduating from UC Berkeley, I saw the first robot delivery prototypes on the street. And you saw these little tiny robots that were just bumping into people randomly and sometimes stopping in the middle of random places for like an hour on end. And I thought, wow, what a great graduate project. But these were the actual future models to later come out and roll out to the masses. I later found out it was a company named Kiwi that were creating these robots while it was an impressive display of engineering. I was surprised to find that even with minimal speed and small abilities, developers still pushed this idea and continued to raise millions of dollars. Several years later, the industry of robot delivery kept growing and in 2017, Yelp said it was rolling out the first robot delivery service in San Francisco to automate its delivery system. But a year later, to no one's surprise, the headlines started coming in where tech companies were reporting that people were kicking their machines saying that some people were interacting with the machines as an anger management tool. But they've recently become targets for thieves and vandals. KTLA 5's Rachel Menasoff joins us live in Hollywood with more on how these delivery disruptions are really impacting businesses who use them. It shouldn't be a surprise that a year later in San Francisco, driving its robots in certain parts of the city due to restrictions on urban crowdedness. Now, I don't know about you, but when I see people kicking machines on the sidewalk, I don't think it's a technology issue but rather a societal one. And people in general might just be frustrated that these robots might be taking the jobs of people who would normally be delivering them instead of the robots. Or maybe it's a tax issue and they're mad that the robots aren't paying taxes like them for the sidewalk access. But even with these unexpected societal acts and consistent feedback from the general population, Starship Technologies continue to receive funding as much as $100 million in 2022. Now these little robots can go as much for $2,500 to $5,000 and deliveries can cost anywhere from $2 to $4. Which means you're looking anywhere from $600 to $2,500 deliveries to recoup the actual cost for purchasing one of these little robots. But keep in mind, it does not include upkeep and the occasional theft. While the general population seemed to dislike the robots, interest in Starship grew in college campuses across the US, like Oklahoma, Arizona, Idaho, Massachusetts. You can see on their website, they are specifically targeting college campuses. The big promise is to allow students, faculty, and staff more freedom to spend time how they want and where they want. I'm not sure how with normal people, just delivering products can't just accomplish this, but okay. So why didn't they just go straight to the masses? Well, we are getting there. The main attraction for colleges is that most colleges don't have areas where cars can drive, limiting current food delivery services so these robots are used for the last mile delivery. Some schools even grew tired of these little white trash cans and even banned some of them in Knoxville, Tennessee for approximately six months because they did not have the proper policies in place yet. This might be due to the fact that these robots are known to make very inhuman decisions like rolling into the middle of a campus parade. Even in Canada in 2022, they have banned these robots over concern for pedestrian safety. Another aspect to take in consideration is the environment. While these robots are waterproof and actually work well in them, these robots really struggle with snow as one Russian robot found it very difficult to drive through St. Petersburg sidewalks. 
the United States is covered in 70% snow at some part of the year that will present some extra challenges for these robots. Like electronic cars, the big promise that these little robots want to accomplish is that they will reduce carbon emissions, of course, at a lower cost than what it costs for humans at a fair wage, or at least that's what they said. But these fleets of robots are often being monitored by guess what? Humans. And this can be seen from footage from Steve, a robot delivery company that has operations in Los Angeles. They watch up to six robots at a time and can monitor up to 20 robots each day. At some points when I have multiple robots, I'm actually going robot to robot to robot to robot and I just keep a cycle going mm. through. We would love to trust a comedy. I am more confident in my decision making, so. So are we reducing the costs or swapping these jobs for others where humans are the watchers of these technologies? I wonder why. So those package delivery people, instead of being truck drivers, might be soon behind a desk driving remote controlled vehicles. More often than not, developers seem to deploy these utopian ideas into the world to meet with the harsh reality. It's not very different how the idea of creating delivery robots sounds in the cubicle in a big company while drinking matcha, but we can see people have other opinions. There goes Sunita. Sunita, come on, don't attack him, Sunita. You're out of control, Sunita. Get out of the street. Developers deploy these utopian ideals to the world, expecting amazing things to happen. And that makes sense because when you're in a closed environment of a big company where things are air conditioned, you're gonna have a certain preconceived idea of how that idea will meet the masses. However, when that idea actually rolls out, some people may perceive that differently than the original creators. After initial resistance of rolling out these robots to the general streets, finally, a company was bold enough to try and give Los Angeles a world for delivery. However, it didn't end as expected when food delivery robots were driving through Skid Row, they found themselves robbed, vandalized, and whatever this is supposed to be. Sometimes on college campuses, people will go so far as students at Oregon State University with deciding to make a bomb scare, which actually turned out to be a prank. We're text that uh, first it was just suspicious activity with the robots, and then we got another text about there being an IED in it. The scare started on social media declaring that there was a bomb inside of a food delivery robot, which caused the administration to restrict anyone from opening delivery foodbot robots in late 2023. But while vile, there are now greater repercussions for attacking food delivery vehicles. As one video surfaced in 2022, a group of college students beat up a food delivery robot and were actually arrested for it. So no longer is it 2017 where you can just kick a food delivery robot and get away with it, as now there are repercussions. Even though there have been many meme moments with these vehicle companies, the reality is that Starship Technologies by 23 has grown their fleet to over 2,000 autonomous vehicles. Hyundai Motor Group in late 2022 announced that it has developed a delivery service robot based off of electronification and autonomous driving technology. And now Amazon is starting to focus on drone delivery. Why this shift? Many reasons, but the big one being the last mile problem. Essentially, the last mile of any delivery tends to be the most expensive part and least efficient. Some sources even say that the last mile can take up to 28% of the delivery costs. In 2018, Amazon's shipping costs jumped 23%, reaching a record $9 billion. And it has puzzled engineers for decades on how to effectively optimize with or without human involvement. However, companies anticipate soon creating the technology to completely remove people from the processes leading to rapid increases in delivery time and reduced costs. How soon can this be? No one really knows for sure. In other words, the food delivery robots are a large piece to the supply chain problem that the tech industry is actively trying to solve. How soon can this be? No one really knows for sure. But the critical thing to realize here is that these food delivery robots are a piece of the larger supply chain quest to solve that last mile problem. So as people want packages delivered properly and expensively, expect more of these robots around. And yes, they do belong on the streets as engineers try to solve and optimize people to get their stuff faster. Along with the food delivery craze, there's also staggering growth in the area of drone delivery. 
If drones become more popular as well, I'm sure people wouldn't mind hearing this all day. Above their houses are mine drones potentially crashing into each other, spraying people below with fragments of metal. We will cover this all in another video, because if you thought robot delivery bots had bad failures, I can only imagine what 2024 brings with drones. Till next time. And I grab the handles and pick it up, and just the, the bottom of the bag is a soggy secret mess. Mm -hmm. So my curry spills all over the cooler. <laughs> it is just a puddle of the food I ordered. And I look at like the screen of the robot for like a we have an issue sort of button. <laughs> right. And it just says step away. <laughs> and it starts closing. And I'm like. <laughs>